Welcome to Learn to Paint with Scarlett. That's me. Today I have decided to go out and about and get out of the studio. So how I would start this is just grab a pencil and leave that pencil, that eraser at home. You do not need an eraser. This is some quick sketches we're doing. So I'm going to take a look at what I'm seeing here and I just want to kind of sketch it in. If you guys look over my shoulder and you can kind of hear me. So this is really big, right? Like if I would need a huge um, piece of paper to capture all of it and it's also really condensed this way. Oh, there's a little rabbit running through the field. How awesome. I love rabbits. You probably know that. I have a whole bunch. Okay, so what I want to do is kind of um, sketch it in. So I've got, I've got this like this big yellow line here and I've got got some trees over there and some of them are just like these perfect German trees which are they look like lollipops okay they're way back there and then we've got something that kind of looks like a little ridge back there a little bit and part of being an artist of course is you can stretch it right so we can put it further apart so let's say because those are really condensed in the back and I'm gonna make a few higher than the rest of them I really hope you can hear me because I'm facing the wrong way so we've got this yellow coming in here and we've got some green there. And here we've got another ridge, ridge of trees. I'm doing this really fast. I'm normally just a little slower. But it depends, you know, maybe you only got five minutes or less. Now there's a whole bunch of trees back there. And way up top we've got a little bit of this sun kind of cloud coming through. So let's like you know, put the sun in there, maybe put some rays coming down. Ooh, it's looking good. Okay, so we got this huge field of wheat and it's even got some little corn flowers. So if we wanted to, we could put the corn flowers right in the front and maybe concentrate on them because they're really close to me. Over here anyway, we could pretend they're right in front of me. Those are these blue little dots that you guys can barely see. Or we could just leave this as like big um, flowing uh, wheat field that comes out here. So now what I want to do, I've kind of got the sketch, right? It's all right. Now, I know that there's a few more trees here, a little tiny trees that we we'll put. There's a little patch green there. We'll put a little tiny bit of trees there. There's a little foresty thing over here. It's looking pretty messy, right? So now I want to come in and maybe make, like, some notes. So this is light green. And for the sake of making it easier, I'll just use, like, DG for dark green. And this is, like, MG for maybe a medium green, and that would be like an LG, obviously, for a light green. Up here we have some blue, but this is like bright blue above the sun. And this is all like a light gray. Um, so I want to I wanna write in what I'm doing, where the different lights are. And we've got some shadows, so there's some really big shadows in here, and I can use some cross hatching, that's really good. Okay, so that's my sketch. Awesome, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so from here. <laughs> Well, from here we have two options. One, I could get out my palette and I can go ahead and do a few more bits and pieces. Or two, I could just end this video here and tell you guys, come meet me over on Patreon. So all my Patreon subscribers, I'm gonna have a little more detail where I actually uh, talk about how I'm painting this in. But just for now, this is, this is the sketch of this location. At this point, um, yeah, I would get a blanket or a chair and sit down and actually do some real painting. Or I would take some photos, obviously that's a great one, take some photos with your camera and then take this back home and then sit down with a new sheet of paper. So I did bring one. Voila. And with this, I can now, you know, this is like my reference, but I don't really need my reference when I'm sitting here. I only need my reference when I go home and want to continue working. So from here I would blog them, but this time it would be much less. Okay, so I'm just going to really quickly sketch this in. Mm -hmm. 
You see how I stretch that? It's really, really tight in the middle and I've kind of pulled it out but pushed it in. So it's squashed and stretched at the same time. And then, like I said before, somewhere up here. Now these are really, really light sketches because I'm gonna erase them when I start painting. But again, this is still just a sketch. Now I may use this to paint, but what I wanna do now is just get some color in here as something I can go back to the canvas later. Next. Here. Take this out. No, I don't need water. This is like the one thing I've forgotten. I never forget anything. Okay, hold on. No, it's good. I have my water brush. Just for that. Okay. So I've got my water brush. This is awesome. And again, I'm just getting those colors on there, right? Well, it looks amazing. So we're gonna mix some water in that square. I just want to blot it in. So I just put a tiny drop of water, well, like, I don't know, three or four drops of water in there. So if I come over here and grab a color that I know is dark, clean my brush a little bit, get some blue, add that in, of course. When I add the blue to the green, it's going to become a more bluish green, but it's also going to become darker, right? And that's what I want is a darker green because over here, these trees are really quite dark. And they're kind of like cypress trees gone wild, but... Lot them in maybe this way. Quite a mess. Dancing in the wind over there. Look beautiful. But that's going to be a really heavy color, so I have to offset somewhere on my page with the same color. And well, we've got that nice big pile of green over here. This little mini forest. Germany is made up of mini forests. Very, very well maintained here. Notice the grass is cut where I'm standing in the middle of the wild. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit of detail on the edge of that. Ah, oh, that sun is awesome. Okay, and now here we've got like yellow at the top or like a golden brown and like green in the back. So, make a new pile of water so we can Clean that off. And then I want to just wet it first. Let's we'll see what we get here. With whatever mucky wet water we happen to have. Add some water on there. There we go. Okay. Now, and this is not a final piece. This is, again, just to help us understand where things are. So when we get back to the studio, we want to do a really well, beautifully detailed final piece. We can do that. Just a quick study. But here is this beautiful wheat field. And as it goes back, it gets like greeny orange. So let's add in a bit of orange here. And then further back, it gets a little greenish. Add some orange up here. Now the water brush is awesome. All I have to do is pinch it and water comes pouring out. Now I'm just blotting a little bit of blue at the top. But hey, it's that simple. Just adding in those little bits of color. And I'm just plopping in some blue and that's pretty much where we are. <laughs> oh, there's a train. Oh, and a train. How cool. 
Yes, and you should stick that right in there. There you go. Stuck a big fat red train in the middle. I really like this picture. Um, I thought it was really good. It was really simple, really fast, really quick, all that fun stuff. And it was a great way to capture the colors and the scenery that I was seeing. But I got back in the studio and I thought, you know what, I'm going to put some line and wash on that and just complete it. I put this little red blurb of a train in the middle and thought, well, let's put that on. I added some hatching. Uh, not, not cross hatching where you cross the lines, but hatching is just the straight lines. So there's a little bit of hatching under the trees and here under the train different places that adds a shadow. It also gives it a slightly um, cartoony look to it. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna add some extras on Patreon, and what I'm thinking for this particular piece might be fun is if I paint a picture or paint a series of pictures, let's say three or four pictures, um, that don't have any lines on them, and they're just uh, color, and then you guys can go ahead and figure out where you want to put the lines and where you want to block things in in different ways. I'll make them pretty uh, abstract and crazy, so maybe some will be, let's say, we'll make them all landscape based, but based on different ideas, and so depending on where you put your lines, you can create completely different images. This is fun and an easy way for you to take out the process of having to really think and find inspiration. Now, if you are able to find inspiration, then go for it. Get some paper, or throw down some color, and put some line and wash on top, or some pen and ink on top, and make a line and wash of your own. That's awesome too, but if you'd like, you can download from me on Patreon um, a few of these. So that'll be there, which might be fun. I think it'll be fun. That's pretty cool. Also on Patreon, um, I have the paint with me, which I think I'm going to call uh, Paint Alongs. So all of the the tutorials that I've done so far, you can find them on Patreon as actual downloadables, which then you can sketch or use carbon copy or whatever onto your own paper and then draw from there. So if you have any problems with drawings or you're not comfortable, you're, you're not really sure about your drawings, then you can download them that way and then follow along so your painting skills will get better, which is really great. But also your drawing skills will improve because you will have to think about it while you're drawing. And the more practice you get, the better it is, right? So join me on Patreon. I'm also available on Instagram at Scarlett Damon and learn to paint on Facebook and a whole bunch of other hosty things, but there um, you can find them on the About section or you can find them at the About section on the YouTube page. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in my other forms, and I've got a lot of other fun stuff coming. Let's see, if you look at my desk, you might be able to find a few Easter eggs, because there's a few new things coming out. Some of the stuff you see up here is going to be tutorials, or is already tutorials in the works, and they will be showing up soon on YouTube. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Have a lovely day, and happy painting! Toodaloo!